Yo, what's good everyone? Uh, coming at you with a tutorial today. I'm gonna be showing you how to edit pictures like Cemetery. Like, uh, this sort of style where it's like super high contrast and like noisy and stuff. Also used by like Glory Boys Entertainment, of course. They were like older pictures. But anyways, this shit's literally gonna take fucking five seconds. Okay, so basically what you gotta do is you gotta know how actions work in Photoshop and um, if you don't know how actions work basically you just take the action and um, it's like a recorded set of keystrokes already for Photoshop and I made an action that lets you do this so all you gotta do is download it and um, so download the action I put it in the description and then you wanna go up here in Photoshop to window and you're gonna wanna go to the actions tab and then if you just go right here it's going to find you're going to see a load actions so you just click this and you locate the action it's going to be named hdr high dynamic range so you just load it and um then your gucci so you can just do that so you load that and i'm going to be showing you what it does with this picture of sosa right here so the only thing you need to know before you use this action is you have to have a layer named background Yo guys, just interjecting real quick, uh, I forgot, the layer name background, you need to make sure it's filled in solid white. My bad, I forgot. And then, the image that you're deep frying, or cemetery frying, whatever the fuck, it needs to be capital L, layer, space, then the number one. If you don't do that, it'll like, just be fucked up, so that's all you gotta do. Yeah. So then, after you do that, you just select the layer, Windows, Actions, and then under the HDR thing where it says Action 2, you want to highlight that, click the little play button down here, and literally all you're going to do is just click OK through all of this, and it's just going to edit the picture for you, you don't have to do anything. OK, OK. And you can see it's already starting to. Yeah, so there we go. And of course, you can play around with this stuff. This is just how um, stuff I did that I thought made it look good. I'd say the only other uh, addition that really would make it uh, make it more cemetery-like is if you just added some noise to it. So maybe something like this. And yeah, bam. So there you go. It's super simple. Um, I hope this tutorial helped you, and, uh, yeah, thank you.